Whether in the present day or the distant past, there have always been architects and builders who are willing to go against the trend and create structures which are truly unique. In celebration of those visionary builders, this video is our guide to the most unusual buildings in the world. We'll start off our journey in Japan, where students at the Kanagawa Institute of Technology have an unrivaled view of the world around them whilst they're enjoying their studies. The institute, which was building and paid for by Junya Ishigami and associates, is almost completely made out of glass. That means glass walls, glass floors, and glass ceilings. The building is located in a scenic area, with a landscape of lush trees and hills. That means anyone studying or working in the building can be inspired by snowy treetops in winter, and rich shades of red and gold on the leaves during summer and fall. It's incredible to look at, but we can't help but feel that anyone in the building must feel a little bit exposed. How would you like it if someone stood outside your home could watch your every move? There are many things to see and do in Vietnam, but more and more tourists every year are being drawn to the crazy house in Da Lat. And when we say it's crazy, we mean it. The enormous hotel, which covers an area of 6,500 square feet, can be found on Hun Thuk Kang Street in the resort and looks nothing like any other building on earth. Vietnamese architect Dang Viet Nga built the property as an example of what could be achieved when people think outside of the box, but work in harmony with nature. You won't find many straight lines or smooth corners in this building. It's more like a giant colorful treehouse, completely made of materials which come from the local area. Nga also took inspiration from medieval castle designs when drawing up the blueprints, which you can see in the windows and towers. If you ever wanted to spend a night in a fairy tale castle, now you know where to book your next vacation. We often hear it said that the world is becoming too obsessed with fashion, with famous designers selling shoes for thousands of dollars at a time. We think that this shoe in Taiwan is probably the most expensive shoe in the world, and you'd never even be able to wear it. Incredibly, this shoe, which might be more accurately described as a giant glass slipper, is actually a church. 300 separate planes of blue tinted glass were used to complete the structure, which is 60 feet high and 80 feet long. It was never intended to be a fashion statement, though the church, which is simply known as the High Heel Wedding Church, is a tribute to the victims of the outbreak of Blackfoot disease, which happened in Taiwan during the 1950s. People from all over the world now fly here to get married in a venue like no other. We've all heard about the pyramids of Egypt, but we could soon be seeing pyramids of a different kind in the forests of Denmark if architect Konrad Wojcik gets his way. Wojcik wants to completely rethink the way that human construction projects interfere with nature and build eco-friendly homes that complement the environment around them, instead of interfering with it. His idea is to build clusters of pyramid-shaped forest homes, capable of housing two to four people, but taking up only 200 square feet of space. The proposed homes will be made of strong glass, contained within wooden frames. A special pump will extract heat from the soil and pump it into the home, coupled with solar panels to provide electricity. On top of that, rainwater harvesting systems will make the homes completely self-reliant, requiring no external power sources. Wojcik says that in the short term, his creations could be used as tourist accommodation, but in the long term, there's no reason why we can't all be living in them. What do you make of this 450-foot high construction on the banks of China's Zhuxiang River, which is known to locals as Bagel House? Does it remind you of a gigantic steel donut? Or perhaps you think it looks more like a huge polo mint? This big wheel is actually an apartment complex, built by Joseph D. Pascal to provide housing for the employees of two large Chinese companies, who are based in Guangzhou. The building contains 33 stories and was designed to bring good luck to those who live in there. That's because when the building is reflected in the river below it, the hole in the middle helps to give it the appearance of a number 8, which is considered to bring good fortune according to Chinese culture. Although it's circular, the building is actually made of a series of interlocking copper triangles. It's an incredible feat of engineering. Staying in the east for a moment, 
The Lotus Building in China is another stunning example of what can be achieved by working with glass. The material simply allows for greater flexibility and innovation than concrete or stone. This structure might stand in China's Wujin City, but it was actually built by a team of architects from Australia. The building represents the beautiful lotus flower at all three phases of its blooming process, from a bud to an open plant with a seed pod. The city's planning bureau are the main tenants, and if they can't get inspiration for creative modern design by working in there, then we don't know where else they could go. The lotus sits on an artificial lake, and also contains conference centers and meeting rooms for the public. Visitors have described the interior as being like a cathedral, with stained glass windows and towering ceilings. At night, exterior lighting reflects off the glass to make the whole building shine with color. It's a truly beautiful sight. Some of the most amazing buildings in the world have been built as places of worship. We've already seen the High Heel Wedding Church, but Chiang Rai in Thailand plays host to a temple, which is a whole different kind of beautiful. The area is a hotbed of art and culture within Thailand, and it's best symbolized by its most famous building, the White Temple, which is better known to locals as Wat Rong Khun. The entire temple, as the name suggests, is a bright and gleaming shade of white, which gives it the appearance of a winter palace. Artist Kalarm Hai Kositpipat had the vision to build the temple, and saved the proceeds of every piece of art he sold for 20 years to fund its construction. He chose white as the color scheme as a symbol of Buddha's purity. Work on the temple began in 1997 and is technically still ongoing, although all of the exterior work is now complete. Polished glass has been used to complement all of the white, which allows the building to sparkle in the sun. Kosit Pipat likes to think of that as a metaphor for Buddha's wisdom, shining brightly across the world. Even the pond outside the temple is full of specially selected white fish. This twisty-turny building isn't in the process of falling down. It was designed to look exactly like it does. This is the Lou Ruvo Center for Brain Health in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's a medical facility, but its unique look is the work of the famous architect Frank Gehry, who has a reputation for creating unique buildings all over the world. As much of the work that goes on inside the building is focused on helping people with dementia and Alzheimer's disease, it's owned and operated by the Keep Memory Alive Foundation and is intended to become America's most prominent science and research center for the study of the human brain. Creating this one-of-a-kind building cost $70 million, much of which was funded by charitable donations. There's a full-sized memory museum inside its 65,000 square feet, along with a public auditorium and 13 treatment rooms to deal with patients. This proves that medical buildings don't have to look boring. Spanish architect Antony Gaudi is a name that should be familiar to people who don't even know much about architecture. He created several masterpieces, but the Casa Batlo in Barcelona may have been his greatest work. It was once a simple family home, but after Gaudi got his hands on it in 1994, he turned it into something that was part building and part modern art. Locals call it the House of Bones because of the strange design of the brickwork and the building's innards, which resemble a skeleton. The striking facade of the building is largely made up of a multicolored mosaic, which has been crafted out of shattered tiles. That leads up to a bent and bowing rooftop, which some people feel looks like the spine of a great dragon. The dragon theory is backed up by the presence of a turret and a cross towards the building's roof, which plunge into the dragon's back, and therefore represent the tale of St. George. Much of the building remains open to the public, most notably a large museum on the noble floor, covering 700 square meters. We think so much of Frank Gehry's design work that we're going to pay him a second visit. And this time, we're going to look at what he did for a vineyard in Spain. Have you ever peeled back the layers of a tin can or a thin strip of metal and been left with a series of twisted, curving sheets? If so, you'll probably see something familiar in the facade of the Marquis de Riscal Hotel. Gary used similar design ideas here as the ones he employed in the Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao. Only this time, he allowed the wine to inspire him. 
It was only after the owner of the vineyard presented Gary with a bottle of vintage wine from 1929 that he agreed to accept the job. So that wine inspiration may have been a literal one. The steel ribbons of the building take on pink and purple tones in the sunlight, reflecting the colors of wine with the gold and silver tones present elsewhere on the building representing the colors of the wine bottles that are sold by Marquis de Riscal. The hotel was just one of many in the area before Gary redesigned it in 2006. Now, it's one of the 10 most visited wineries anywhere in the world. The Bagel House isn't the only giant spherical construction that catches people's eye in China. There's also the 515 feet high Ring of Life, which you can see in Fushun City. This building, which cost somewhere in the region of $16 million to create, was designed for one purpose, to bring tourist trade back to a local area which was fading away without it. One day, it will be the centerpiece of a whole new town, which is being designed by the Goddard Group. There are plans for shopping centers and entertainment attractions to be built around the Ring of Life, but this outstanding architectural achievement sets the tone for what's to come. Visitors can travel up to an observation deck if they want to see the view from the top, and at night the ring sparkles with more than 12,000 individual LED lights. In terms of design, it's been described as a more modern take on the Gateway Arch, which is in St. Louis, Missouri. At one point during the early stages of construction, visitors were allowed to bungee jump from the top. That practice has now been discontinued. Sorry if you missed out. There is nothing wrong with your eyes, and this building is not melting. This is the Kurzwi Domek in Poland, and it forms part of a super modern shopping center in the town of Sopot. Fittingly, the name of the building translates into English as Crooked Little House. The architectural team of Zotinski and Zaleski were tasked with designing and building the attraction, and say that they were inspired by the fairy tale houses they dreamed of during their childhood. The owners of the shopping center knew that the best way to get people into their shops was to build something that would attract people from far and wide. And so they asked the designers to come up with something that would stand out from the crowd. We imagine they were very happy with the finished product. At nighttime, one of the floors of the building opens up as the shops close down, and it's full of bars and nightclubs. That means that the Crooked House is open for business every hour of every day. So there's no excuse to not stop by and pay it a visit. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, and you will be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thank you for watching and see you soon.